This week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary, you guys are looking at the last week of surface images from the KW camera from the USGS HVO on Kilauea. And what you're seeing is quite a lot of fume and steam, but no surface lava still. It's been a full three weeks now since we've seen lava on the surface on Kilauea. And changes are still occurring underground, very similar to last week. Uh, the long and short of it is that earthquake rates are still moderately elevated above what they were last month. So here we see the tail end of, of the average level, the background last month, which the first week of the of this, this graph is showing that. Over the last three weeks here, it's been slightly elevated at this slightly higher level. And it's not been at alarming levels that we associate with uh, pre-eruption sequences um, or the intrusions. We did have that one small intrusion that was this day right here. But otherwise, it's been fairly steady and stable as magma is essentially recharging underground within Kilauea Summit. Um, I thought I would just summarize this by showing you guys this map of earthquakes for the last month on Kilauea. And I'll blow it up here in the Kilauea Summit. And this gives you an idea of, of where the earthquakes are happening. Right? So it's happening quite a bit uh, along this inner caldera area, but also tailing off to the south a little bit here in this Kauai area, upper southwest rift connector that we saw an intrusion in back in August 2021. So all of this is considered that greater summit area, part of that summit magma reservoir storage zone. And what we're not seeing is much else on a rift zone elsewhere, right? We do see here some south flank. The south flank is still adjusting. So the volcano is still adjusting um, and refilling mostly at the summit there. So that's the long and short of Kilauea. We still await the next development. Um, given the conditions, it's possible that the eruption could resume at any point. Uh, or we could have a new eruption, um, not through the same conduit. And that could ramp up fairly quickly if it's going to be a small localized thing. So still restrained to the summit, no threat uh, to the rift zones at this point in time, nothing um, further to worry about that's changed. And that's the summary of Kilauea. And just for comparison, here is the last month of earthquakes on Mauna Loa. And while Mauna Loa is also inflating as evidenced by its toe, really this is the big difference in the volcanoes. Mauna Loa is not showing any pressure at the summit really, no, none of the earthquakes that we saw preceding the 2022 eruption. So all is still quiet, and we'll wait to see what happens next. And that's the Hawaiian Volcano Summary for the week.